Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll build an AI agent that will automate your work. We'll do that in two minutes without code. Let's get started. Before we start building the AI agent, there are two aspects of AI agent that you need to know about. One is the AI agent itself, which we discussed in the last video. I'll leave a link somewhere here so that you can see it. So AI agents use LLMs as brains to plan out and carry out actions on your behalf. Now that's one aspect of AI agents, that's single AI agent. But usually to carry out a useful transaction, you need multiple AI agents and they need to work with each other. And that's what is called as orchestration and a key aspect of AI agents to be useful. Orchestration is the process of coordinating and managing these interactions, tasks and data flows so that these agents can work with each other to carry out a transaction and achieve a unified goal. So remember these two components, the AI agents themselves and the orchestration piece which is also called workflows or flow engineering. So today I'll show you how you can bring these two components together, the AI agents and the orchestration or workflows together to automate your work using a no-code platform called Cassidy AI. So Cassidy is a no-code platform as I said and it is free to use for the initial around 3000 credits. So you can also try it out and follow along. In Cassidy, what they call agents as, as assistants and you can see a bunch of assistants here. And one great way to look at how agents will look in the enterprise, as I was talking in my previous video, you know, you can have agents for your different departments, organized depart groups within the organization. So you can see the agents here, like in a sales agent or a marketing agent and, and you name it. There are agents across the groups and then you can actually choose one of these uh, here. Let's say we're choosing an RFP response assistant and it basically will go ahead and ask you a few questions and then based on your organization, you can answer these questions and then when you press continue, you it will create an agent. So in, in the interest of time, let me show you one of the agents that I built. Maybe the both, I'll show you two agents I built and then we'll see how they can work together to carry out a transaction, right? So we'll look at a CEO assistant, which is basically giving strategic insights to a CEO. And also we'll look at a competitive analysis assistant, which is looking at external websites, uh, YouTube channels and giving insights so that the assistant can give brief the CEO. So maybe let's start with this competitive analysis assistant and you can see that it is basically got a name here and a description, right? But one of the key things to understand is that each agent could use multiple LLM models. As here, we can see we can use the drop down, and then you can choose uh, any LLM model it can choose. And we see a future in which we would be using the right LLM based on the use case. So for example, for this particular use case for competitive analysis, maybe Claude is better or maybe GPT is better. So we'll, we'll just go with the GPT 4.0, for example, and then it the key heart is always telling the AI what to do. And here the, we have assistant instructions telling it what it is, what its role is and what it has to do. And then you can add a brand voice and give a context. Within Cassidy, the way to give knowledge which can be shared across agents is using a knowledge base. So I given it some knowledge base here by giving it data from my website. But basically, you can see that you know it you you have an agent which is using an llm and we have our second agent which is a strategic insights assistant uh, which again at this point uh, it's using gpt4 but i gave the, it an uh, instruction a special instruction so the above are the standard instructions but i gave it a special instruction that i want only 10 actionable insight then a, a ceo can take right so based on this you know, we, we have two assistants now. And as I said earlier, the workflow is what enables the coordination of these agents. So 
here we'll go to the competitive analysis workflow which I had created earlier and then you can see that there is a way of triggering these agents to get this agent workflow started you know for the task that they need to perform and then we're given it the first agent which is to perform the competitive analysis and then we have the second agent which is generating the insights also we have given one competitor youtube channel to analyze and so it's here and so if we go to run and then just give it a prompt it will start running the workflow and go and look at each of this competitive analysis it will perform the competitive analysis so the first agent is running and then after some time it will run the second agent so in the interest of time let us look at one of the previous agent the previous workflows that it had done so here it has done the same thing it analyzed the youtube channel gave the recommendations what is the strengths what is the weakness and then it went on the second agent took this inputs from the first competitive analysis agent and then it gave us this strategic insight and like i said earlier we added a specific prompt that i only want 10 insights or 10 actionable insights and then it provided that as you can see there are 10 insights or 10, 10 insights or points or actionable points for the ceo so there you have it, two AI agents we built and then we orchestrated them in a workflow to provide useful insights. Now, if you need to build more robust AI agent solutions, then you need to use LangGraph, Crew AI, or even no-code solutions like Flowwise. They give you better capabilities to provide these agents with memory as well as tools and other aspects which makes these solutions more robust. So we'll see how you can build such robust AI agent solutions on this channel. So if that's of interest, please do subscribe. If you like this video, don't forget to press like so that others can also discover this video. Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you in the next one.